Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. And who called for the Quiz Queen? Or sent for? I didn't send for you. Ah, uh, but I do need... I do need to do this. Small at noon, tall in the evening. And it's gone at night. It sounds like a shadow. Yeah, okay. Question two. Uh, that would be... P-Y-E. Number three. Uh, what do you get when you cross sandals and a banana peel? A banana split? Oh, slippers? Uh, what's round on both ends and high in the middle? Ohio? <laughs> oh, that was it. <laughs> okay. What goes up but never comes down? Your age. Where would you find Mount Fuji? Oh. Japan? Oh, hey, how about that? A pig gives pork, a cow gives beef, and a baby sheep is... Lamb. In the fairy tale, what is Hansel's sister called? Hansel and Gretel. What planet is between Mars and Saturn? Oh, Jupiter. And which one of these animals lays eggs? Snake eggs. I mean, there's a Bell Network 1 chip called Snake Egg 1, 2, and 3. That should give you a hint. Yeah, that's that's how I knew that. <laughs> Got a barrier 200. No, I'm not looking to be any sort of a queen. Except maybe the Dairy Queen. If I was going to be a queen, that would be the queen I would want to be. All right, with that out of the way, let's finish up the final side quest, and then we'll have a few things to do in secret the secret areas to get. Uh, so we need to go to ACDC Net 1. Oh, they said the lower left. Because I didn't find it before. Maybe I should go through Lan's PC first. So we're looking for a program. I could just... I could just throw that sneak run. Why don't I do that? Because I honestly don't care to get into battles right now. This way we won't have to deal with most of it. You. Okay. Must be you. For a stamp contest. Yeah, unfortunately. Stamp card. You will need to get three stamps on this card. There is a program for providing stamps in the Scilab, Yoka, and Beach areas. Away I go. Okay. 
Well, the Scilab one is actually... What's in Scilab 1? Which I guess it doesn't matter how I get there. So we'll take it this path. Oh, hey. I need to talk to you. Tell me more. There's the Scuttlest A. And I don't care about anything else that involves that. Uh, yeah, we gotta go... Because it's not you, is it? No, it's, it's not you. I mean, this is supposed to be about the Cyber Metro line, but when the fetch quest we're doing doesn't really want us around the Cyber Metro line. Like, it's not like you just ride the Cyber Metro line, get a stamp, and then go to the next place, because that would be too easy, right? There you go, stamp. Okay, where's the one in Yoka area? Okay, Yoka 2. Which I might need the press program for that. Oh, that's annoying. That will actually be Melu's thing. head over there. You know, I know I said I was going to use other folders, like a Plant Man folder and whatnot. It's just Flash Rats is so effective at what it does. Why do I need anything else? I mean, it'd provide some variety, sure. But, I mean, we're almost done with the post-game, and I'm gonna need Flash Rats for dealing with the things we have to deal with coming up. I know there's nothing there. I just want to be able to buy more of the chips we need. Okay, this is Yoka 2. It's supposed to be in the upper area. Is it you? Yay! Got a stamp for the stamp card. And the next one is... kind of near the beach... Uh, beach square? Uh, what am I doing? I can't actually get to the... Yeah, you can't really get to the beach net from Beach Square, or the beach overworld. It's so weird. This must be the most disjointed internet in the Battle Network games. Also, the most cryptic Remember last time when I said it took me like an hour to find a uh, Dark Man beta? Because I had. It, it was so cryptic. I had to have a glitch in my Navi customizer. Like, what in the game actually tells you that? I'll be glad when we get to Battle Network 4 and all the navvies are just regular random encounters in the area that you encounter the uh, version 2 form. Did I just say... 
I'd be glad for Battle Network 4. Oh, something must be wrong with me today. Um, I need to get to Beach Area 1. And we need to go about it in the most oblong way, apparently. Okay, so he's somewhere around here. Go this way. You. Ha ha! I got a stamp. A stamp of approval. Alright, and now we can go back to... Because we don't have a great way of doing this. Other than travel across the overworld to travel to different parts of the cyber world. I mean, Battle Network 2, we had that little area in uh, ACDC Area 1 where you could get gate keys to warp to, as like quick warps to the other areas. They've like taken that concept and they've spread. They've spread all the teleporters all over the dang place. Stamp card, well done. Okay. We did the thing. Uh, we gotta go back to the hospital. That's right. The hospital where we ran into the quiz queen. So once again, traveling all over the world. I suppose not all over the world when you're only taking a metro line, but all over the world will be in the next game. It's not here. Oh, that's right, it's you. And that's all I get. It's not even a new chip. Okay, well with that, it is time to go back to the secret area. So I'll meet you there. Alright, here we are at this door, which I believe uh, in secret area one that required the, yeah, the four quest quiz people. Look at Step Cross R. Still not a new chip. Okay then, I'll meet you in the next area. Okay, this is the gate in area two where you have to, um, you have to have all the jobs completed. But just on the way here, just running here, encountering normal battles, I got three new chips. The Shake 3 chip, the Shadow chip, and No Beam 2. Look at that damage, 260 for a single chip. I mean, it takes a little bit of setup, but uh, it's a straightforward, it's also a straightforward laser. And there's a customizer program, HP plus 500. So I'll meet you in the third area where we'll hack the final thing. Now I have these chips already. Oh yeah, let's see if, uh... Let's see, how, let's see if they want to be generous again and give me another no beam. Because this is really what happened. Not the same virus setup. I didn't have those uh, deedles there. I had something else. Okay, no, it doesn't want to. But hey, both in the iCode. I am not building an iCoded folder. Alright, time for some hacking. Okay. So I know we need that. And these were all just kind of here. Just to provide some star-coded chips that I can just, you know throw away. And... We can throw those away. 
All I need is the combo that kills these three. Okay, so we have copy damage, heat shot, heat the heat side, and fire plus 30. And this should do it. So what I'm going to do, copy damage there, and we got it. So that did 660 damage to all of them. There's very few setups where you can do that, so I don't know if there's another answer to that or a solution to that uh, thing. But yeah, that got us through. And there is a chip this way, I do know that. Whole star, so what this chip is for... Well, number one, it's another standard chip, so that's awesome. Uh, it opens a hole to the dark world. Oh, well, that's vague. Uh, there's a couple of chips in this game. I believe it's both Giga Chips. That, um... There's two Giga Chips. I think one... Well, two Giga Chips for each version. One being Dark Aura. Uh, for the blue version. Serenade is one for the white version. I think one of the base chips is for the blue version as well, and something else. But yeah, they're considered, quote, dark chips, so you have to have a dark hole on the field, and so you have to use this chip to create a dark hole, and then it'll let you summon, uh, you know, use the dark chip. This concept will come back in the next battle network, and there'll be more chips that will require a dark hole on the field. And other sort of dark chip interactions. Dark chips kind of become like one of the main themes of Battle Network 4. For better or for worse. It's for worse because it's Battle Network 4. Alrighty. Okay, there is one more secret path I wanted to show off. It's over on this platform by the Bug Frag Trader. Yeah. Oh, crap. That's a monolith. Oh, I need that Trombi chip. Oh, uh, I'm not gonna get it here. That's for dang sure. I don't even have... Oh my gosh. I thought I at least had the PA. But no, we can't even manage that today. Here we go. Okay, I just need that Trombi chip. I did get the, um... I did get that Fishy 3 chip off ca- Well, we just got it on camera, too. Yeah, okay. Giant Monolith. Yep, we're gonna use that. Last round of these virus battles. I'm expecting bad things. The fact that this battle is starting out so nice with both our chip draws and the viruses not being absolutely insane. I protest that. You were stunned. I knew it was too good to be true. None of these things do anything. That's our threes, huh? Easy enough. There we go. 
Ella globe. Oh, I don't want the globe. I am not a globe trotter. That ratty three is going to be an issue. Because this is going to hit that. I was pressing the button. Okay. I'll take it. Breakers and Doomers. That should wipe them out. Just mash the A button. Yeah, I could put in... Well, if I was trying to build another folder, whether it's P-code or the D-code, I'd have to go around and collect some more chips. And... Oh, we already have Ice Stage. And I'm not super interested in doing that. When I have a folder that's already working fine. Uh, so yeah, apologies for kind of just using the same folder through and through. It's just that it it is so efficient at what it does. But I do promise you that there's plenty of other valid strategies for folder building in Battle Network 3, probably the most diverse that we've seen thus far. I mean, you have the Dark Man chips, you have Bubble Man chips that could be good. Uh, you have Plant Man, uh, you have all these other different goals. You have the Yamato, Yamato Man and Yamato Spears, uh, just lots of... I'm not taking a uh, Viz with me. I mean, they'll all work, they'll all get the job done. It's just, Flash Ratch is kind of the easiest one to build, in my opinion. Shadow Omega. We're going to be here for a little while. Um, that also means... I just want to burn through these. So we're going to have to... Ow. Didn't know you were coming right away. So we're gonna have to fold her back and wait for our chip again. That is why I am keeping... Actually, yeah, I'll cycle this first, and then I'll use the add feature. Because we might not have needed to use the add feature, but we do. This guy's easy enough to dodge as it is. And he just goes on and on. And we just do not get our one fire sword in the folder a second time. There it is. I in case things screw up. Didn't screw up. You know, I kind of read the F and Fishy and the Trumpy together, and I I thought it said Frumpy. <laughs> We're battling the Frumpy virus. He's just a flash in the pan. Alright, here we go, Battle 10. This is what Battle 10 looks like, huh? Pretty simple and straightforward, if I do say so myself. I mean, if I was spamming Plant Man here, 
with plus power-ups, would it really be a difference? I mean, it would look different, and that's about it. Uh, wait, we're still battling. Is this going to be 20 battles or 30 battles? The prize behind this is really good, I promise you that. Uh, that's all that's going to take. Yeah, we're on battle 12 here. And of course, busting rank doesn't matter because these are event battles. We're not getting prizes per battle. Which is something that kind of annoys me. Um, I believe they do fix this in Battle Network 5. I know it's not fixed in 4. Everything just gets broken in 4. You're not going to have holy vandals. I don't know if I can hit it well. I got the flash man, so overkill for the win here. Uh, how are you not stunned? Whatever. You're dead. Low blow. That is all it takes, huh? Well, we're not using ice stage here. Unfortunately, we got one of our Flashman chips and their aqua viruses. So, Alpha Bug Omega. Eep. Just major eep. Get that thing out of here. We're gonna set the ice stage, and this should kill everything. No, it's not gonna kill the alpha bug. I'll stun it though. That's why I brought the rats. Well, fortunately, our style makes us immune to the effects of the lava panels, so I can actually just move freely. But we need to kill the yard. Okay, I can just stand up here. See? Demonstration. I remember I did have a heat style once, and I did build a folder based around, like, lava stage. Yeah, we're not using Ice Stage here. And, um... I was using it against my friend in, in like, the Volcano Chips as well. Because there's a Volcano Chip that... will do, um, a bunch of damage if you have more Lava Panels on your side. And we'll make it interesting, not just spam Flash Man. No Bean 3 and Trasher. I've not encountered those viruses. Well, since they went to the trouble of setting up the ice for me, I do appreciate that. I remember I also once made a folder in this game based on, like, the sand panels. Uh, how did that go? I think it involved... Is like a B and a C coded folder. Scuttle Omega, huh? Well, 
Uh, we're gonna have to use folder rack here. That's not even gonna break his barrier. Because that's a 200 HP life aura. But the real issue... Well, I got Folder back again, so we can just... Oh, hey, watch where you're aiming that laser. Okay, now it's not working. Uh, so let's get rid of things that... I'm gonna need that. I mean, I'm not taking any ships. I'll leave that in biz. You! Oh, well, I still didn't get a Flash Man, so we can just fold her back. And we'll reset our ice stage. Hey, look. I found myself a Flash Man. Gets rid of his barrier. And this will do a hefty chunk of damage. Come down here. Yeah! 20 battles. Whew. And what do we get for that? The Hub Batch. Navi Customizer Program. For the rest of the series, the hub batch, or, or the hub dot bat thing, is going to show up as a Navi Customizer Program. It adds, well, it adds a whole mess of stuff. Let's, ooh, I'm getting rid of Custom 2 for this. Oh, it's going to cause an error. Error S2C, let's... Okay, hang on, i got to pull up the code. Error S2C, okay, so TU... A one, which is this, whatever the heck that symbol is. Since that's not a normal symbol you find on a computer keyboard, uh, they're indicating it with one. A W two L L. A W second symbol L L. So this should add. Oh yeah, it. He says he feels a little strange, because regardless of what you do, you get a bug with this. The bug being your HP is halved. Look at that, we're at 490. But it's going to add... I believe it adds, like, Custom 1, Mega Folder 1. It might start you off with a barrier. It's basically the replacement for hub style. Let's get into a battle here. Yeah, it's the replacement for hub style, but it only adds custom one. So, in my opinion, it's not quite as great as what hub style used to be. Remember, hub style gave us a full set of ten, cus ten chips in the custom window. This is only one, so we are going to uh, get rid of this. Even if I shrink it by one, it's not the most helpful thing. There we go. Now I wonder, will I have to put in... No, I won't, because I've already put in that code. Oh, we have our HP. Now, one other thing I want to do. I want to use this Bug Frag Trader. I want to put in 290, so that'll bring us down to 23 
bug frags left. And I just figured I'd do this on camera. See if maybe we can get some of those other chips that we need that we don't currently have and show you kind of what this thing can do. Pawn in the Y code. Interesting. Team 2D, that's a new chip. I think that was a new chip. Well, that one definitely isn't. <laughs> Sand stage Q, I mean the Q code is new. So there are some chips and, uh... Is that a new chip? I don't recognize that. With the red like that, that could be a new one. Yeah, we can get some Navi chips from these as well. And we can get more copies of, like, the Elemental plus 30 chips, Navi plus 20. Very nice. Uh, so there are some chips that you need to get from uh, the Bug Frag Trader or one of the chip traders, especially if you're looking for specific chip codes of things. Well, since we have to feed this thing 300, I figured we'd do some of this. That's a new chip. Because I know I only had Spice 1. Snake Y. Okay. How many more new chips can I get out of this? If I could get, like, a Team 3... Airshot 3. Yeah, the Bug Frag Trader likes to spit out the Airshot 3s a lot. I'm kind of surprised that's the first one we've got, to be honest. Lava Ball. Oh, that's new. I didn't know that. Yeah, see, there we go. <laughs> triple Bomb. I already have Triple Bomb. Team 1. Okay, I have enough of the Team 1s. Oh, Spice 3. Good. I don't have to hunt down that chip, either. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, good. This just... This made my day. I don't even care what happens in the next couple pulls here. What was that? Rope 3. Okay, I do care. Thank you so much. And I'm not going to put any more in there. Because that put us at 300. But let's take a look at how many... I'm only missing 21 chips now. That's not bad. I'm going to hunt those down off camera, and I'm going to meet you back here at the top of those stairs, and we'll see what's behind that door.